in this video we are going to see a small example related to k4 cross validation we will see python code of k4 cross validation using cross val score function <laughs> Hello. In this video, we are going to see K4 cross validation and scikit-learn option for cross validation. The method starts with dividing the data into k equal parts, and that too every part is taken at random. Let's see an example of some five-fold cross validation where we divide a data. Into five equal parts: fold A, fold B, fold C, fold D, say suppose, and fold E. Now, say for instance that if the whole data contains some one thousand observations, then the five equal folds will be containing equal observations. That means two hundred each. Now, for these equal parts. We are going to form train test data sets, or we can say train test partitions. Hence, with this consideration, we go on forming the training and test partitions. Say, for example, we can form a partition for train set as A B C D means the data. With observations from fold A, fold B, fold C, fold D as a training set, and E we keep as the test set. Similarly, we can repeat for other partitions. Now, considering A, B, C, D as a training set and E as the testing partition, we can build a model on this. Training data set partition and predict and test on the test set data set partition to calculate any evaluation mat metric. Say it may be ROC AUC for classification models. For regression models, it can be mean squared error or R squared score. Let's term this as something like small a one. the same exercise can be repeated by taking a b d e as the training partition and c as the testing partition thereby calculating evaluation metric say let us denote it by a2 similarly we can repeat this exercise for other partitions so here you will notice that turn by turn every fold is getting an opportunity to take part in the training process as well as in the testing process hence every observation is fully utilized for the entire training process and also for evaluation process and ultimately we can take average of all these values of the matrix we are going to see with scikit learn the function cross val score for doing all this for running our demo code we will be using this data set of kyphosis downloaded from repository the kyphosis variable is the response variable so this is a classification problem so hence we have imported the data set of kyphosis with x and y created here we required to do the get dummies as the data set is having a categorical response also watch over here that we have imported two functions stratified k fold and cross val score cross val score is the function which is going to do the actual job of k fold cross validation stratified k fold is the function which is to be specified for the number of splits to take place whether to shuffle or not and the random state 
stratified k-fold is to be used when our problem is of classification. When our problem is of regression, we should be using simply k-fold function. So, hence, let's then run the code. With stratified k-fold function, we have created the object k-fold. Also, we require to create over here the object of SVC in order to use it in the cross valve square function. We specify this object in cross valve score function, and over here we specify x and y along with the object as well as scoring. If scoring is not specified by default, for classification, scoring will be accuracy score. And if scoring is not specified for regression, the scoring will be R2 score. CV equal to k-fold has been called from the stratified k-fold object. Now let's run this. After running this, you will find that the Crosswell score has resulted in five values. Now, what are these five values? These five values are the evaluation metric values for every fold combination. So, for first fold combination A1, second fold combination A2, A3, A4, A5, respectively. Similarly, this is 0.82 is for first fold combination, 0.79 is for second fold combination, 84 for third, etc. So we have five values, and as I had said, we take the average of these. So let's take average of these. Dot mean will give me the ultimate score. Also, watch in this particular cross valve score function that. I have given verbose equal to 3 so that when the validation or the fitting or evaluation actually is taking place, we will be able to check its progress. That's why the verbose equal to 3 has been given. You can opt for not giving that if you don't want to see the trace of your output.